Hi folks, I'm John. I'm just going to show you how to change the connector uh, temporarily on the end of a speed sensor. So if, for example, you have a two-wire speed sensor, rather like this one, and the one you're trying to fit is a slightly different style, um, you can change the end connector so as it matches your circuit board, and that's sufficient to uh, at least test the machine or do a temporary repair. Um, all of these are magnetic reed switch sensors, so what I'm describing here applies to this type of magnetic reed switch sensor only. Uh, but it's quite a straightforward process. You need obviously your old uh, sensor and what you would do is you would uh, want to salvage the connector off that so you'd cut the wire there. You can then dispose of the old sensor which is faulty. Get your new sensor, well, although this has got a different style of sensor it actually operates in the same way but the connector is a different style to the one that you need. Uh, so it's quite a straightforward process. You cut off the connector off the new sensor and then you have to join these two ends together to make the thing work again. So to do that, simply cut the two wires there, spread them apart, they should pull apart quite easily, and just like that. And then you need to uh, get, you need to expose the conductors inside. So I've got a pair of wire strippers here, uh, but you can use snips or any other means really to expose the wires. And if you look carefully you'll find that one of the wires has got a stripe on it quite often and uh, you can match that up with the stripe on your new one and then join the wires rather like this. So there's two ways you can join the wires, you could, you could lay them together like this and twist the ends or if you want a nice neater job what you can do is lay them end to end like this and fold them over on each other and that makes rather a more compact joint. But for simplicity here and for speed, I'm just going to twist them together like that. And the other pair, I'm going to twist together like that. And if you want to do a proper job, you could uh, obviously put connectors in line connectors here or chocolate, box, uh, chocolate block connectors, or indeed you could solder it if you're so inclined. But for a temporary job, just make sure you've got your ends twisted together, get some tape, this is just regular insulating tape, electrical insulating tape, and you just need to make sure that the ends are nicely covered, rather like that. I'm just going to cut off the excess, and then do the same on the other. You just need to make sure that these uh, copper wires don't touch anything. They mustn't touch each other, and you don't want them touching anything on the machine either. And there we go, let's just get rid of that excess. So you can see there's a temporary repair, that's just fine. And if you want to put a bit of stress relief in, you can just fold these back and then over tape it. By stress relief, what I mean is that if you accidentally snag the connector or pull the connector a bit tight, if you sort of wrap it back and tape it back on itself, you get a nice, robust, temporary connector. And that's perfectly safe at least safe enough to you to establish whether your new speed sensor is the solution to your problem or whether you need anything else. I hope that helps.